There is um, a filmmaker here in the uh, studio. His name is Ami Horowitz. Um, he has a new documentary coming out um, called You and Me uh, on the UN. Uh, and um, we'll talk about that at a, at a later date. He did a special um, project for, uh, for GBTV where he went down to Wall Street and um, he talked to the useful idiots. What's happening on Wall Street? Watch. Over the past week, the Wall Street protesters have captured the heart of America, or at least the mainstream media, with their answer to the Tea Party. The Tea Party stands for reducing the national debt, decreasing taxes, and lowering the prices for Earl Grey. Since I'm usually down with a good old-fashioned protest, I went to Wall Street to get a flavor of what these guys stood for. Do you have a real aggressive cat? Because you got a lot of scratches. No, I have a real aggressive right hand when a razor blade gets in it. You did it yourself? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay, they weren't all quite like that. Um, so why are you here? Um, oh, I see. Let's see. Yay! Um. There were some people who were a bit more clear on why they came. Uh, I'm opposed to hierarchical structures. I, I'm opposed to uh, a priest telling you how to worship God, a uh, boss telling you how to do your job. I'm opposed to a politician telling you what the laws are. Wall Street is demonic. It's evil. They are guilty of breaking all the commandments. We, we are literally making you and this capitalist monster irrelevant. So your question is, am I against profit? Yes. I mean, is profit wrong? Yeah, I'm against capitalism. I mean, I think corporations in general are bad. They are? Oh, is that the new iPhone? No, this is the old iPhone that is broken. Can we please have a moment of silence for a great visionary, Steve Jobs? Steve Jobs! Oh, you're, oh you're, a, you're, a, you're a Microsoft guy. It's clear what they're against. Capitalism, Wall Street, and deodorant. But what are they for? I would replace it with communism. Anarchy. Primitivism. What is, what is that? Like hunter-gatherer? Sure, and early farm life. But yeah, primitivism. But you know how many people are going to die if you, have hunter, if you go back to a hunter-gatherer society? People who can't hunt or can't gather? You learn. And... I mean, this might sound terribly cold, but it's a fact of life. Everything dies. Get a choice for no pot for an entire, for a lifetime, or take down the entire investment banking system. Which would you choose? Oh, I like pot, but I'm not an egomaniac. It's more important that the system be taken down. I'm really not sure if they have a handle on basic economics. <laughs> what is credit? <laughs> credit? Money that doesn't actually exist? <laughs> What is a stock? No idea. I would say all consumer debt, I would say revolving debt, credit card debt, mortgage debt should be abolished and the bank should be abolished. The idea of debt is completely silly. It's so there shouldn't be any debt? There shouldn't be any debt, no. So like how, like how would you get a, a mortgage to buy a house? It's not as simple as that. Yeah, but Wall Street people pay taxes like everybody else. They don't pay the same amount of taxes. Of course they do. Percentage-wise, they don't. They pay more. Why is people like Paris Hilton paying less in taxes than a struggling airline pilot is trying to support his family? It's not right, okay? It's, it's not right. They That's not really right. true, though. The richer you are, the higher tax rate is. It's not the higher tax rate. The top 10%, what should be their per total percent of the tax burden? The top 10% of this country, uh, probably 30. Do you know that the top 10% pay 65% of the total tax burden? I did not know that. I wasn't sure if this kind of radical agenda was really representative of what the group as a whole stood for. These guys do seem a bit hardcore. George Bush or Stalin? There's no difference. One does it with bullets, one does it with money. George Bush or Hitler? There's no difference. Who is more damaging to the United States? Wall Street executives or Al-Qaeda? Um, I would say that I feel, I don't know that I could say that one is more damaging than the other.
Al Qaeda is a political organization with lots of objectives. Do you currently have the munchies? No. There needs to be some sort of Nuremberg type trials for these bastards on Wall Street. They are pernicious, nefarious, insidious, irretractable, perfidious, and treacherous. That's a lot. Well, uh, they say Nuremberg trial, so they're like the same level as the Nazis? They, they are on the same level with the Nazis. What is more evil, capitalism or deodorant? I'm not going to lie to you. This is about to get ugly. Left to buy from, left to work from, left to buy from. Sweet man. Brilliant. Really brilliant. How frightening, how frightening was that experience? Uh, first of all, let me ask you this. How much of that is now slanted? There were a lot of really normal, intelligent people there. First of all, the level of indignity I'm willing to suffer in order to entertain you folks, no, no matter. <laughs> You know, the truth is, and you know, it's funny, I'm sure people think, oh, I interviewed you know, hundreds of people, we just put on a few. Basically, everybody we interviewed, we put up there. Um, if we didn't put them up, it's because they didn't really say anything or they didn't want to talk. Right. Um, that's without a doubt, pretty representative of most people there. You know, I think the group is broken down to three types of people. There's the communists slash socialists. There are the college kids who have been fed all this garbage you know, the four years are in college, and they're finally finding a way to kind of put that to use by doing this. And then you have your dirty, smelly hippies. <laughs> That's about the breakdown. There's not much more there than those three. And, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing what they're doing. Were, were you frightened when you saw I mean, Because yeah. I watched that and say, no, I don't mean for your safety. I mean, I, I watched well, this Well, they say that think... their tops off. Let me tell you, that was frightening. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a pleasant thing. When I, when I watch this, I think these people are being used. They're useful idiots. They have no clue at the damage that they're doing. No, they have no idea. That, lady, that girl who said... Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, it, it's fact of life. Everybody has to die at some point. That's frightening. No, but that's actually what it leads. I mean, that, she's actually a little bit smarter than the rest of them, because that's actually what it ultimately will lead to, right? If you if you move away from capitalism toward what you, we're talking about before revolution, you're going to have uh, you know tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and some cases millions, millions of people uh, who are going to lose their lives. But you know, for a lot of these people, that's what. You know, for some of them, they don't realize that. And for some of them, they realize that's a necessary evil. When does your documentary come out? We're going to announce a date in a uh, couple of weeks. It'll be sometime the first quarter of 2011. It's a similar kind of vein, but it's a full-length documentary. It'll be released in theaters all over the country. Big, splashy release with a big distributor. Uh, and it's all on the UN? It's all on how screwed up the UN is. That's a Screwed up? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They're, they're protecting the world. They're good people. Yeah. Good, they're, they're, good, they're good people. <laughs> well, it, it is a, uh, it's a pleasure, and thank you so much. That is fantastic, fantastic work. Thank you. Thank you. All right, back in a second.